and welcome back to Kids Life. We're so excited that you guys are here. It's Vision Sunday. Do you guys know what that means? It means we get to find out our word of the year. That's right. But I don't know if you guys are ready to find out what the word of the year is. Do you think you're ready? Well, let's see. I'll give you guys a few hints. Hint number one, mirrors are really cool. They pull in light to show us a reflection. That means they show us a really beautiful image, like you. Hint number two. Oh, it just got really dark in here. You know, when you walk into a dark room, you instantly want to turn on the light. All right, our last hint. This is our third hint, you guys. When we want to play video games, when we're watching TV and the screen is too dark, we got to turn on the brightness. Do you think you got it? Let's see if you're right. Drum roll, please. Our word of the year is brighter. Woo! We're so excited, you guys. We are so excited for this year and for everything that God has to speak to us. His love is brighter than anything in all the world. And when we shine God's light, the world becomes even brighter. But before we learn about how we can shine God's light brighter this week, let's prepare our hearts by doing these three things. Say them with me. We love always, we trust God no matter what, and we make wise choices. Let's say that again. We love always, always we trust, trust God, God no, no matter, matter what, and we make wise choices. choices. Very good, boys and girls. Now, would you go ahead and pray with me as we ask God to speak to us this morning? Hi, God. Thank you so much for the word of the year. We can't wait to discover more about how your light brightens our hearts and the whole world. Holy Spirit, lead us each and every single day. Help us to love always, to trust you no matter what, and help us to make wise choices. Open up our hearts and speak to us so that we can have a deeper relationship with you. We love you, we choose you in your name, amen. Amen. Let's brighten up the room right now by lifting our voices in the worship.
Everybody come on now And sing it out Let's light, light, light up the dark together Shout out loud for the world to know Light, light, light up the dark forever Let the whole world know because we're loving God out loud. Last week, we learned that we can go and make disciples by spreading the love of Jesus. But it's important to remember that we can't share the love of Jesus without loving people. That's why today, we're discovering how to share God's love loud. Let's go ahead and let's watch this video together. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God. We're searching God's word for things to discover This book is alive Full of answers and godly advice This book is alive See the wonderful stories inside Every day I'm searching read through history and poetry How much Jesus loves me God's great story lives There's no other book like this This book is alive. The Bible tells us to love. But have you ever wondered how to do that? After all, how do we even know what love really is? The Bible talks a lot about love, and one of the people who loved best of all was John. That's because he was one of Jesus' very best friends. Jesus loved him very much, so if anyone knew about love? John did. John wrote a letter that we call the book of 1 John in the Bible. It says that love comes from God. Love is who God is, and only God can give us a new heart, a heart that knows Him and loves like He does. The person who refuses to love doesn't really know anything about God, because God is love. So when you know God, you know real love. And I'm not talking about the kissy kind of love you read about in books or see in movies either. This kind of love is different. This kind of love starts with God. 
Not that we once upon a time loved him, but that he loved us. God loves us so much, and this is how we know it. God sent his only son, Jesus, into the world so we could have a close friendship with God and know his love. God loved us first. He didn't wait for us to come to him. He came to us instead. If God loved us like that, shouldn't we love others like that too? When we love one another, we show what God is like. As we love others, his love becomes stronger and healthier and bigger inside of us. That's perfect love. That's the kind of love the whole world can see. So we can love others because we can show them the kind of love God has for us. So you see, whoever loves God must also love others. Loving God includes loving people. You can't love one without the other. You've got to love both. That's because God is love, real love. And that's what it's all about. God is love. Love comes from God because God is love and he's the only one who can give us a new heart. We can love God loud like when we sing songs to him because his light shines bright in us. And another way that we can love God is by loving his people. That leads us to our big idea. Our big idea that this week is I will share God's love with everyone. Can you guys do that with me? Do it as loud as you possibly can. I will share God's love with everyone. Good job, boys and girls. We love others. We are reminded of who God is because God is love. Loving God includes loving people. We have to do both because we can't love God without loving people. 1 Corinthians 13, 1, if we don't love God without people, we are like a noisy gong or a loud symbol. That means our words mean nothing if we aren't loving people in our actions. That means that our words don't mean anything if we don't include love with our words and our actions. Love isn't thinking that we're better than anyone else. It isn't thinking that we can change their thoughts, their actions, or even their hearts. Only God can do that. Love, loving people means loving them the way God loves them. That's God's way, meaning that we can ask for forgiveness when we've done something wrong. It means that we can forgive others who've hurt us. It means that we can pray for others who don't know Jesus and also that we could tell them about Jesus and how much he loves them and how much he wants to be their friend. That actually reminds me of our memory verse. Do you guys remember it? Let's go ahead and let's stand up together and let's say it and to re refresh our memories. Go. Go. Into all the world. Into all the world. And preach. And preach. The good news. The good news. To everyone. To everyone. Mark 16, 15. Mark 16, 15. Very good, boys and girls. Our memory verse reminds us how much Jesus loves everyone. But we always have to remember to share the good news with love. When we're sharing Jesus' good news, but we aren't sharing it with love, we're just sharing noise. We sometimes get loving loud and being loud very confused. Like our intentions are in the right place, but there's a loving way and a not so loving way to do something. Like maybe we've wanted a family or friend to come with us to church so badly that we might have told them that they're a bad person because they're not going to church. But that's not loving, is it? It's not. You're just being loud. Instead, we could just ask them. We could ask them, hey, I'd love for you to come to church with me. I have some friends that I'd love for you to meet. That's true. That actually would be the, one of the most loving ways to do it. But sometimes we can be so loud for so long that we've forgotten how to be loving. And you wanna know the best way we can start being loving? It's by listening. We can start listening to God and people. When we listen to God, he teaches us how to be loving. He gives us the words to say and inspires us to act with love. And he helps us to listen to others. And when we listen carefully, we learn the best ways to love someone. And that's what loving God is all about. So let's start this morning. We're going to spend time with God and we're going to listen to him. Ask him to give you a new heart. And don't forget to listen very carefully as he teaches you how to love. As you grow in listening to God, you get to learn about growing in real love, too. So go ahead, find a quiet place with no distractions, and spend some time talking to God.
All right, boys and girls, go ahead and come back to the middle of the room. I hope you enjoyed your time talking to God today as you learned what real love is like. Now you get to go out and practice loving loud and shining even brighter. But before you go into small groups, let's go ahead and let's pray together. Hi, God. Thank you for loving us so much. Your love is so bright and we want to show your love to others so that it shines even brighter. We're sorry for the times that we haven't been loving. Holy Spirit, give us a new heart, one that's ready to listen more, one that's ready to love the way that you love us. We love you, God. We choose you and we trust you in your name. Amen. Amen. All right, boys and girls, it is time for small groups. Go ahead and grab your parents, your siblings, and anyone who lives with you, and we're going to discuss three things. You're going to discuss what you've learned today, encounter God by taking a look at the book, and then you're going to pray, asking God to help you encounter what you discovered today. I know you're going to have a lot of fun in your small groups, but don't forget to come back here for an awesome encounter activity. someone to be the caller. It could be a parent, a grandparent, a sibling. It could be anyone at all. And you've got to listen to them as they call out some actions for you. And you, your job, your job is to decide whether these actions are loving or loud. If these actions, if you think these actions are loving, you're going to run to the left side of the room. If you think these actions are loud, you're going to run to the right side of the room. You think you got it? Good. Pause the next screen so your parents know what to say. Listen really carefully. Ready? Go have fun. We worshiped together, we said our memory verse together, we took a look at the book to see how we can share God's love better together. And that's not it, we also learned the word of the year. It's brighter, how cool is that? We are so excited to discover more with you next week. We'll see you really soon. But before you go, remember, you, you are loved. Bye. Bye.